Hey guys, and a welcome. I don't have my mic. Let's try this again with a microphone. Hey guys, and welcome to the live stream. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, we are here to wrap up a lovely week together and um, get the ball rolling today. Um, we had Photon on the board first today. Mod swung by to say hello, hello. So thank you for swinging by today. Hopefully you feel better soon. And no, I don't need this. Um, and Junior Oreno, welcome aboard as well. So today we continue our fun adventures with Life is Strange 2. Sorry, I have back pains today for some reason. And so my posture is all over. It's a little messy today. Um, but today we are back with Life is Strange 2, Episode 4, where we last left off. We got, um, we escaped the hospital, stole a car after beating a guard, or knocking a guard unconscious, stole a car, drove off in the middle of nowhere, heading to a certain place in northern Nevada to find Daniel. And um, we stop to rest our eyes a little bit, change the gauze, you know, do all that good stuff, and uh, got beat up because we were on someone's property and they were being, um, might I say, a bit racist. <sighs> yeah, very racist. So uh, that took place yesterday, and then after we got beat up by them because we chose not to do the little song and dance on their command, uh, we um, drove off pissed and furious at the situation. So that is where we left off yesterday. But before we do that, uh, we do have a pop quiz today. This apple is massive. Look, this thing is huge. This is as big as the Honeycrisp that we had. This thing is almost that big. CJ's in the house. Welcome to you as well. This massive apple is the pop quiz of the day. It is huge. It's, this one's a hard one. This one has a brand name to it, a, a registered trademark name to it. But I'm going to bite into it and see what it is. I don't know anything about it. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Whoa. This is almost, oh my goodness. This is almost like a Granny Smith apple. It's not as hard as a Granny Smith apple. So it doesn't have the intense crunch of the Granny Smith apple, but it's got the tartness. Oh, and I'm still feeling the effects of it. Yesterday's apple, the the pink lady, did not have this much tartness to it. This one matches that of the uh, Granny Smith apple. Whoa. It matches the Granny Smith apple in tartness. Oh my goodness. It's not a Macintosh, but it doesn't have the texture of a Granny Smith apple. Granny Smith apples, I, I believe, a little more harder. I think you can bake, you can definitely bake with a Granny Smith apple, and they can withstand the heat and not turn into mush. This one, based on the crunch and the texture of the inside of the apple, if you try to bake with this apple, it may turn into mush. Um, so it's not as, like I said, it's not as hard as the um, Granny Smith apple, but boy, does it have the tartness. Oh my goodness, I'm going to take another bite. See, it fooled you at first. You're like, okay, I'm used to it now. And then it hits the back of your... Ooh, you feel it right across the jawline. Man, wow, I never realized how many 
varieties of apples there are out there for us to enjoy. And if you're a fan of tart apples, oh, that is, that is really hitting me. Um, this apple would be for you. So take a guess and see what it is. Now, before we play the game, we are all month long on our campaign to raise funds for teachers through Donors Choose uh, through our Back to School Power Up campaign. I have gone ahead and made the second round of donations. I didn't want to sit there and bore you with uh, watching me click, click, click. But here, I took a screenshot at the end. If I can find it, there it is. I took a screenshot at the end after I did the next 14. That's how much we were able to pull off 14 more projects to fund. So we have funded now a total of 29 projects across 28 different states. That is more than 50% of these United States. So 28 states, 29 projects in 28 states. We've got 22 more states. Can we find a way to fund them all and hit 50 states before the end of August? That would be awesome if we could. Um, but uh, right there, all those, the 14 that you see listed um, to my right over here or to your left, um, it are the ones that we do we we donated three hundred ninety four dollars fifty two cents that gives us so far in august we have um donated seven hundred sixty six dollars and eighteen cents all for teachers through donors choose and um twenty eight am uh twenty eight amazing no twenty nine amazing projects um across 28 states have been funded through this live stream alone in August. So that is exciting. I am um, pumped to round out the month and finish strong and try to get to all 50 states if possible. I somehow want to get to all 50 states. So how can you help? Simple. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video and any other live stream during the month of August. Those add up to money. Also, right there, right here, you see it on the screen right next to me, right there. If you have any levels for Super Mario Maker 2, we'll be playing that game again next week. I will take those level suggestions and um, for each one we get, we add money to the pot and if I can beat it, we gave it even more money to the buy. If I can't beat it, I'm just, eh. But that is how you can participate and also share throughout all social media that hashtag BTS power up and get the word out. Let people know, hey, it's really that simple. Eight more people. Always eight more people to break 300. So uh, and we can bring out the 90s videos. So, yeah. Let's get it. Let's get eight more people, break 300, and uh, break $1,000 this month uh, and give it all to these amazing teachers. So there they are right there. The projects that we helped fund this week after our big spend were for a grand total of $766.18. Again, that is $700. $66.18 that we have donated to teachers through Donors Choose. And there's the next 14 that we've helped. So we've got 22 more states. 22 more states that we want to try to help. So let's see if we can get to it. All right. So let's jump into the game. I'm excited. Hope you are too. I'm trying. There we go. Who oh boy. Cracker Parrot, thank you, Miss Cracker Parrot, for joining the live stream today. 
continue where we last left off. And no, it's not a uh, Crips Pink. You died in your game? What game? So the, the Wolf Brothers were split apart. The oldest wolf was badly hurt, but nothing could stop the wolf from following his brother's tracks. Alex, 2.2, hello, hello. Welcome aboard. Getting sweaty. Must be hot out there in the desert. Okay. Still a few hours away from the Haven. Almost there. And we're limping, too. Shit, I need a break. Might be some shade at the next billboard. So we gotta walk all the way to the next billboard and try to get some shade. Stop. Can't run for miles in this heat. Fine, I won't keep running. I like that it, it stopped me from continuing to run. <coughs> That's pretty funny, though. 22 miles ahead to Two Pair Casino, Poker Blackjack, and Spaghetti. Ooh, Spaghetti. Yes. Shade. Hey, the shade. What can I do with the shade? Let's sit down. Oh, man. Feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. Are we just gonna sit around? Oh, I can draw. Let's draw Never something. Drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty and quiet. What am I going to draw? Oh, there we go. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. All right, here we go. We're drawing away. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. This place is so empty. <laughs> At least I won't mess up perspective for once. <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. <sighs> okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Oh man, come on, let's keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Guess I could spice things up a bit. 
make the whole thing funnier. Draw an oasis. I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Oh, I have to focus some more? Okay. Here we go. Let's focus. Okay. Just draw now. Don't oh. Else. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. All right, what else can we do? Anything else around us? Nothing. Nothing. I can drink water. <sighs> Shit. My throat feels like sand. Are we done? There's nothing left to do. So let's just get up. Am I just going to keep walking now? Yep. Here we go. I'm going to run. Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Let's of see if the miss everything about him. Let's see if the game stops me or Even not. His whining. Yeah, you can't wait to get out on your own. That was a that was a wolf. Now you are, and it sucks. Why are we stopping? Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? Go to him. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just uh, see what he wants. Here we go. Am I gonna have to decide to get in a truck with a stranger, which I don't want to do? Truckers can't be cops, right? Hey, need a lift? Too damn hard to be walking. Here we go. I have to make a decision. Should I get in or should I keep walking? Walking is not getting me anywhere. And who knows where Daniel needs to be. I'm getting in. I'm going to get in. Nope. Get in. Yeah. Thanks. Hold up. Choco crisps, yeah. Jeez, what the hell happened to you? Got beat up. I ran into a couple of assholes who beat me up for no reason. Uh, I see. Happens a lot around here. Yeah, what's up? GPS 
Diaz tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number <laughs> two. You owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I had cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. Oh. So, you hungry or what? You look hungry. Oh, that's a good sandwich. Yes, eat it. I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Oh, what would you forget to share with us, Photon? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Oh, man. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. Oh, man, an hour and away. That cut a lot of time. Thank goodness. nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Just a boring trucker. Granted for a year. Oh my goodness. What happened to ground for a year? Oh man, what's gonna happen when we wake up? I hope uh, I hope Anton's doing good for us. This apple is massive and it's so tart. Stop. Even point. <coughs> you just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. Ten four, good buddy. Ten four, man. All right, we made it to Haven Point. Life is a gamble, bet on the Lord. Oh, we're at church. So I'm going to walk into church or something? What am I doing? It's Easter. He's risen. Okay. Yeah, it's springtime. Okay, got it. Wow. Forgot about Easter. I completely lost track of time. Yeah, so did I. What's in the mailbox? Hope those people are caring Christians. Like our grandparents. I hear a kid. You okay now? Is it gone? I, I think. Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Uh, hello there. Is everything all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. You here for the service? Uh, 
Uh, looking for someone. Uh, not really looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? What miracle? I'm not going to pretend like I know what you're talking about. Uh, what miracle? <laughs> you haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. Called and chose. Oh my goodness. That poor little girl. Her cough sounds real bad. Yeah, it does. Her father was nice. Right. Maybe people won't judge me here. Maybe. Hey, I've got a little pep in my step. That's more like it. Oh, what is this? Wow. Must be a pretty good church to drive all this way. Not much different than my hipster stickers. People tend to showcase what they love. Let's keep going then. See what else we have around here. Nothing here. Okay. Nothing there. You, so I'm gonna just look around here for a second. Nothing around here. I can't see anything. I guess it's time to go to church. Maybe. Picnic tables. There's a lot to do. I can't just go roaming around. Just the walk. Lot is like a giant slot machine. I can enter from the back door? Sure. Oh, it's locked. Dang it. That's a lot of closed doors and fences for such a small church. Feels out of time. What does the sign say? Yeah, very humble. All right, let's get let's get in here. No filming. Oh, feel that cold air. Oh, there's Thank a guest book. Why are they talking about my brother like that? Wait, what? We saw a miracle child of Jesus told today in... Oh, wait. They think the miracle kid... Oh, no! I would not believe it unless I saw it with my very eye. Daniel's indeed an angel sent down unto us. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. Daniel's here. I heard the word and will never forget this day. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. A picnic with Daniel? What's going on? Come join Reverend Fisher and new disciple Daniel for a private picnic. Oh my goodness, Daniel! What have you done? I had pretty much the same ones. <laughs> Cute. Can I take a pen? Hey, it's for charity. Me. What machines are we bowing down to? Good. 
Daniel's here, at least it won't go viral. And you I wonder how donations can pay for all of this. Nice picture. Wonder if... Wonder if they'll let me in. Wait. No way. The Angel Daniel? Oh, no. Did they cut his hair? Reverend... Elizabeth Fisher invites you to witness the power of the Lord within our own child at church. Live miracles. Daily noon. Oh my goodness. It's Daniel. Let's go. Let's get washed up. We do need to change our gauze, right? Shit. Look at me. These people will freak when they see me. All right, well, let's wash up. Clean up first, so I don't scare Danny. Use some soap now. Come on. <laughs> Drying it. On your... Is there anything else we need from here? Nope, nope, nothing, nothing, okay. All right, let's go through the door. Too much attention. Better try upstairs. Oh, then we gotta go upstairs. Wonder if Claire and Steven would. Faith. We hear that word a lot. But faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? What is faith? Okay. Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Right. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Oh, yes, you are not like all these sinners out there. So I never ask the Lord for a sign. Then he gave me words. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift, an angel. A child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for. Oh, man. Waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah? Just show me Daniel. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member. And our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. Oh no, Saint Daniel. There he is. Here is Daniel. Oh, praise be the prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Yes, Daniel was brought to me 
to deliver us, to guide us from the wilderness to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. What is he going to do? Oh my goodness, life has changed so much. Daniel does not look happy. I don't blame him. He's being used. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donation. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh, yeah. There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> I have a weird suspicion that they are using Daniel to try to gain more money. And that they know that this is not what they're making it out to be. lot earlier. Yep, that was me. I like to be here too. We can see the whole room and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's too bad. To your eye. Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Sarah Lee? The Sarah, Sarah Lee? Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother. But I need oh. some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? All right, let's ask some questions. What is this place? This is our home, <coughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. All right, who's your reverend? Who is this reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. She can't ever sin. 
Hmm, something's fishy. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Let's take me to him. So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. I have a feeling something's gonna get in the way. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith and mine. I know you understand. I guess I mean Sean? Oh my Sean! You came back! I knew it! You've grown up and I know. Do I look older? What? What happened to your eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, not your fault. Forget it. It wasn't your fault. I should have. It's okay. Does it hurt? No. Not as much as your haircut. <laughs> it's different. I kind of like it. Sean, I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And it's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you going to stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But we don't need to. We have a new home now. Look. One step at a time, Daniel. Give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Elizabeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean. I don't believe you. We're now in our Lord, too. Huh? Oh, should I say kind of? I'll just say kind of. Mm, kind of. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. Uh huh. That's so very judgy. What's your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. I'm gonna say God or you. That's what I. Or you. God, of course. Uh huh. I'm his family. Two young boys are not a family. Ah. Uh -huh. Three twenty-five. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. Daniel sounds more like a prisoner than a guest. It saddens me that you see things that way. After everything I've done for him, I well, know. I don't know you. Scared, Sean. That's because your heart's full of sins. I know about that poor man you beat down back in Washington, Sean. This is a terrible sin. And until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him? 
what he wants to do. Do not touch me! What the fuck? Oh, what she's... Do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's Sean, home. what happened? Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Ben, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you to the one true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. <clears throat> I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? <clears throat> Daniel! <coughs> Let me go, <laughs> asshole! <laughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied. Now don't you ever come back. I'm gonna get up. I'm not gonna sit here and do nothing. Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing me off. This is private property. I have a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Well. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean. Wait. You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Wait, is that the mom? Is that their mom? his mom well, um, I got a letter from uh, Jacob he said you were missing and that Daniel needed help I believed him hmm. so you finally decided to check on him. you know Sean sooner or later we're gonna have to talk where are we even going I already have a hotel room you're going to need to rest and clean that dressing. Oh, my goodness.
I'm getting all bruised up, man. That's definitely a cult. Absolutely a cult. Clean the pain away, but that felt good. All right, anything else we need? No, 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 no. Let's uh, look at Karen's Karen stuff. Seems to be on the move quite often. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Dang it, I still can't see my eyes. All right. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? I know I shouldn't peek, but glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Grilled cheese, cut fries, New York cheesecake, a diet soda. What do we got there? Damn. I can't read this. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Chasing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember, know the feeling, there's no fighting back that beating Tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red eye, truckers, and sad families. What in the world? Young cook called her clemmy brother. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a long one. I'm not interested right now. Flyer. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. Kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. All right, what else do we have? There's a road map. This country is just way too big. All right, is there anything over here? I'm sure there's nothing. Oh, there's nothing. Thought there might be like a Bible or something. Um, no, the Bible's right on top of the dresser now. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing. Passcode is one one two seven zero eight. Okay. Hey, technology. She came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Oh dear. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Blah. Okay, got it. Uh, mission accept the Lord and spread the word. Okay. As a pastor, I've devoted my life and love to teaching of the gospel. Then, how you came about being without sin, I don't understand. Together, we will begin the journey to a new life guided by the Spirit. Okay. Hospitality, gratitude, forgiveness. Okay, got it. Oh wait, there's more. Wait, there was more. She came to forever and mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But oh. nobody will find me there. 
All right. There's a Karen's note. Be Let's right back. We'll popped out for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours. If they fit, might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number's on the letter he sent. Be right back. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your sons, Sean and Daniel, on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. Box address so if you get this. I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number, 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Oh my goodness. So I gotta find a phone. Oh, there's a sweater. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Alright. Let's see what else. There's a mobile phone. There's nothing really else, but before that, let's no no. We've come a long, long way. Not that. I need this one. This thing is killing my back. Tell me about it. Bruises on my bruises. All right. Let's. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. Can we can we make a call? Karen was always into low tech. Can we not make a call? I even think with it's the one she had back then. Oh, what is this? This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Oh, I get to draw. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. All right, let's practice. These mountains really inspire me. Here we go. We're going to draw away. Let's see. There we go. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild. What do we need to focus on? I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. There we go. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool. And... Nice. Oh, we got the Kraken. Reality, dude. All right, can we make the call now? Jeez. It only took Supermom eight years to give a shit. How are we going to make the phone call? Let's just step outside. I'm not going out. Dang it. Better wait for Karen in here. She looks like a roach motel. But Oh, there's a phone. Nobody will find me there.
Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. You found my note from your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I need to talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Aw, oh, man. couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. I really should finish reading this someday. Oh my goodness, keychain. So we need to find... Is she coming? I'm not going out. Better well, what for Karen in here. What are we going to do? Are we going to take a nap? Oh, there's the bed. Wait for Karen. There we go. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Oh, someone's here. Hey, sorry it took so long. The fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? <sighs> Nothing broken? Altar boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. Double cheese, no onions. All right. Where'd they go? I don't know about blue. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you, Karen. Sean. I do. <sighs> Come on, Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? There you go. Dad taught me responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So, ask me anything. This is his mom that ran away from him, or we're going to find out why she was never around. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just 
felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. Ah, uh, he was heartbroken. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Guess I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah. Okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Oh, man. I'm just gonna say I know. I know you are, Karen. It still doesn't change the way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. All right. That was a lot. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. So? Did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. Oh, man. He could brighten up a rainy day. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just... 
I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. Come on. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. Uh, I wasn't so lucky. Yeah. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean, I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? Guilty. I That's felt all. guilty that we weren't enough for you. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. All right, what did you do then? Some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I can totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? their rules, their faith. Well, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Uh. so careless it's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused i do care that's why i'm here to help you and your brother if i didn't step up to help you now i couldn't live with myself oh come on Let's ask for a smoke. Why not? This guy hey. smokes. Mind if I throw the smoke? Sure. Still kind of feel it. I do not like smoking. I'm not a fan of it, but I know this character is. Go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. 
Esteban would come over and ask for drag. And I would just look up at the sky and watch the stars. The dreams. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together, <laughs> shut the hell up, and watch the universe do its own thing. All right, let's go back inside. We should go back inside. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Sean, I know I can't change the past, or what I did, but this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. For Daniel, let's do it. I know. It's still hard. But yes, we have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Sure. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Are we going to see it? When we have time. Gotcha. We're still not going to see the eye. Maybe. I like that they chose not to play any music during this scene. This actually makes it a lot more powerful when they don't do that. Here, try this on. Oh, he's got a new pirate look. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. Big day tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. All right. I think that is a good stopping point for us in the game. So I'm going to pause it there. We're going to exit. Let's, okay, let's resume for a second. Let's see meeting the next day. All right. I think this is a great stopping point. We will pick back up with this next week. Oh, uh, no, not the countdown again. And a reminder, next week is the last week. The last week of August. And that means it is the last week of our BTS Power Up campaign. We just finished paying off 29 amazing Donors Choose projects for teachers out there. We have uh, helped teachers across 20 eight states and uh we are 766 dollars and 18 cents 
uh, in the pot almost to 1000 We can get to $1,000 next week and give it to those amazing teachers as they get ready for school. So with that, you can do your part to help. I will do my part to help. Get the word out there. Let's bring people to this amazing live stream, to this amazing channel, hitting that subscribe button. Eight people away from 300. And 300, we begin our 90s videos. So there's a lot on the line. We can get eight more people to join the live stream in August. And um, when they subscribe, they donate automatically. One sub equals one dollar. Like this video, it will add money to the pot. Send your codes for Super Mario Maker 2 on Twitter using the hashtag BTS Power Up. And if you can guess the apples for the pop quiz of the day, then it will add your name for a raffle at the end of the month when we wrap all this up. So with all that being said, thank you guys for hanging out with me this week. I will see you all on Monday. Until then, if you've wrapped up another week of school, that is awesome. Enjoy the weekend. And while you do that, remember to be kind to one another, be true, and be stellar. And I will see you next time.